Okay, BMW 5 Series 2011 Water Leak found. Uh, so we're just going to show you a few bits to begin with. Uh, down the scuttle area, um, we can see that there is a lot of dirt and debris down at the bottom there. Um, basically, that's where the water obviously comes out through the arches. Um, on this one as well, and we can see that there's a lot of dirt in there as well, a lot of leaves and debris, so that's not going to be good. Um, if we then come underneath the passenger front dashboard. Right, okay. So we can see the plug there. Um, we, we do it a different way. Uh, we actually put the plug in the other way round. Um, the only thing is behind that plug, there is, it's like a drain which comes off this way. Um, we need to make sure that that's obviously de-blocked uh, before obviously we put the plug in because what it does is it the water sits up like a bucket and because that's plastic it will obviously corrode and then cause the water to come back in and obviously we don't want that coming back in again um, if we then come round to the back uh, the problem we was having is this bit here was actually wet um, up on the seat and the problem was as you can see um, it doesn't correspond with obviously it getting wet in the passenger front so it won't actually come uphill so what we've actually managed to work out is if I put my torch in here so what we're going to be concentrating is up here where the towel is and then what we want to do is we want to get some water we want to put our water just down this, this little area here so simulating it's out in the rain so we put loads of water here and then if we then jump inside the car okay. Right, okay so we can see it's dripping in onto the mechanism which obviously does the boot area and then it's then falling into this section here um, and believe it or not that's the leak there so it's coming in here, up here by this rubber. And then what it's doing is it's falling on the pad, which is up against here. And then what it's doing is it's actually using that as a slide because that pad actually comes all the way to here. So when it then gets to here, it then runs down and then that's where the point of obviously the puddle was beginning. And if we look on the other side, because the cover's still in now, we can see on this side so what it would be doing is following the panel all the way down and then releasing obviously onto the back seat um, so we've found the leak now it's been a bit of a tricky one um, but obviously we're confident that we found the reason why this this area here was getting wet um, so it's just a case of obviously getting that one all fixed and getting it all dried out Okay, quick video on the BMW 5 Series. Uh, so we've got the water out, oh well, the carpet up on the passenger side, um, so we can actually see the plug as well. Um, so as we can see, um, if I just quickly, so we've got a swimming pool here, we can see how wet the underlay is. And then if we spin round to the front, give this a squeeze, we can see how wet it is there. Um, up the front, we can see where they've put the blanking plug. Uh, the only problem is, I'm not too happy with the sealer they've used. Um, if I can get you in there, it doesn't look to me, it doesn't look like proper sealer. Um, so if I just rub this, so if I rub it, it actually comes off. Um, so as you can see there, once the camera focused, it's very soft sealer. Um, so I don't actually feel that comfortable with that one now. Um, so I think we may have to reseal that ourselves just for belt and braces. Um, but that's obviously to show you how much water's in the back of the car. Um, obviously we've got a little trough here as well. Uh, okay. Okay, just another quick video on the BMW 5 Series. Uh, so we've removed the blanking plug from up in the side um, this is the blanking plug um, so if I can just put that down there so we can see the former sealant which has been used and um, which is very soft um, and as you can see it just pulls off um, so it's not actually stuck to the plug um, 
The problem we was a bit concerned about is in this little hole, there's a drainage point which goes down the side here. The problem is, is we can see how much dirt and debris is in there. Um, so obviously you have to remove all of that before you put the blanking plug in because it will just fill back up again. Um, and then obviously what it will do is it will cause it to come straight back into the car. Um, so we can see that there is a lot of debris in there. Um, so we're going to clean all of this out. Um, what we tend to do is we shove a hoover up there just to hoover it all out of wet and vac. Um, make sure the drain little bits obviously de-blocked as well, which I'm doing right now. Um, and then what we will do is we will obviously reseal the plug with some special sealant. So there you go, so we can see how much dirt's in there. So just a quick video on that one. Back to here. There's your gasket, found that in your um, glove box bit. And we're looking at this, and behind here, you can see the sensors in the hole there. So I think um, it's the wrong way round. So I think we're gonna have to drop the bump off to get to that, to get it in the correct way. Um, have you actually tried getting your hand right up under there, do you think? No, okay, I can only see you can't do that. Okay, um, right, and even if you could, it would be tricky to do. So I think to do it properly, we'll have to drop the bump off. These bits here, we can do a cosmetic repair. So machine this and touch it in. It will look about 60% better, but the color won't be perfect. We'll do it with a, a close match. Even if you use the correct color, it still won't be right. So I think we'll find a, a, a gray that's a fraction darker because it will look better with a slightly darker. The same this side, this will machine a bit more. We get a bit more off, but there's a couple of bits where the paint's gone through. So you can upgrade it if you want. I'm not saying you're going to come all the way back, but um, you know we offer that upgrade facility so we could video it when it's done. Matt could do that Saturday, so potentially, in which case you could have it Saturday afternoon, so all we need to do it in the morning by two o'clock. Right, okay, so could do with a set of wheel centres. You can buy them yourself online. You have to measure them and get them from uh, the internet. You might want to get them posted here. We'll put them on if you want. Or you can get them from BMW, the correct ones. But when the wheels are clean, they're going to let it down a little bit. You can see there. Uh, otherwise, the paint's in pretty good order. We could do um, a double buff on it with clay the paintwork, put a double buff on it, and uh, there's a bit of paint correction around here. James was showing me where that is. There's a scratch here somewhere. What is it? No, that's it. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's got a cloudy thing. So we'll buff that, and uh, so we'll put an estimate together. You get a free upgrade on the coatings. Uh, so I don't think it's worth going for one of our top coatings, maybe do that on your next car But uh, I'd say something mid-range and we'll do you the, the upgrade price so you get it paid for the next one down So we've got a bit of labour to remove the bumper to get to the problem Hopefully it doesn't need a new sensor and we can see we can put this gasket bit on and uh, You know make the car like new again so you get it back like new and uh, turn a negative into a positive um, Anything else to say, James? Is that it? Or is there something else I was forgetting? No. Uh, we'll video the plug going back in properly. You'll get that on another video. This is your rubber off. And James is resealing the rubber. And then it all goes back on. And then we'll clean it all up and make that seal nicely. OK, well, that's just while I'm doing it. All right. So, yeah, we'll put an estimate together to do that. And I would suggest uh, we can put a couple of number plate screws in as well. I did notice that. They're a bit rusty, so we'll put another two number plate screws in while we're doing it. Okay, all right. Right, hello Adam. I'm not going to show you all of it because we've only cleaned it, so it's taken that long, but the paint's looking lovely because we've done it with clay, so it's nice and smooth before we then buff it, and then we then buff it again, and then we then um, clean it with alcohol before we then put the stuff or put air around here to get, you know, so there's a lot to do yet. But look, I, you know, I need you to take this on so look how lovely those wheels look Try and look at dirt there, but anyway yeah but look what's spoiling them it's this now so you, you see we've got these wheels so nice with all the different chemicals that we clean all the backs of the spokes are lovely and the wheels look like new wheels apart from these things so we need new ones of them so it would be lovely to uh if you wanted to post them and get them here or something what does it today yeah you could get them by saturday could be friday try and get this ready for saturday for you 
Uh, but it would be lovely to have new ones of these because it will make a dramatic difference. You can see there now. So you're getting a bit gloss to this finish now. But we've got all the yellow out of it and that has to come out and that's what we've done. So I'm not, you're not seeing the rest of it. Okay, don't get carried away. Um, but, you know, you can see why these are now important because put them on and then we're on the makings to giving you back a car that looked better, looked better than it did when it was brand new. What, we, what we're going to aim for is when you go up the golf club, I've noticed your golf club stuff, when you go up the golf club, people are going to say, hang on, have you got a new car? And that's, you know, someone's just out the blue going to say, oh, you've got a new one? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you're going to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've been the new again. All right? Speak to you soon. Right, um, just to let you know, Alan, that it will be ready for Saturday, uh, midday. In fact, it's nearly ready now. Um, this is, I'm pointing at this where the cosmetic was. So, you know, that's the rear bumper now, but you know, obviously now it looks like a new car or newer. <laughs> um, then you can see it. Now, if I go around this side, um, this one I'm, I'm sort of kind of boxed in a little bit, but. You can see it's slightly disshaped and there's a couple of marks on it, but it was initially all the way around here, sort of kind of across here, as well as sort of at the top. So, you know, there was a scratchy bit about the size of your fist there. Um, but, so it's a lot better, but of course now the car is quick glimpse, like new, then, um, you know, that does show a little bit more. But, you know, it's less than, less than it was anyway, so. Yeah, that's what we talked about. Okay, so we've got the end video on the BMW 5 Series. Um, so it originally had the scuttle area cleared out. Um, it had the banking plate on the bulkhead redone um, and obviously sealed as well. And it had a tailgate rubber leak, which was causing it to obviously go under the rear seats. Um, and then the customers took advantage of our offer, um, had the car buffed, and it's had the ceramic coating put on it. Uh, this has actually got the damas on it and it's got the heat resistant um, ceramic coat on the wheels as well. Um, so turning a negative into a positive. Um, it's had an odour kill 4 as well, so we've UVA fogged it and wiped all surfaces. Um, so it looks lovely and clean in there, ready for the customer to take. It's had the glass ceramic as well. 